Of course, I grew up eating, eating Girl Scout cookies. I mean, I still remember sneaking out of my room past bedtime to eat frozen Thin Mints with my father while watching Sports Center. You know, it, it says something about somebody when, they're, uh, when all their memories are related to food. I guess that's why I'm, I'm a sommelier. I've never actually had alcohol with Girl Scout cookies. I think the best pairing, honestly, for Girl Scout cookies would be milk. But um, it was just a really cool opportunity to try something from my childhood and then apply things that I'm really passionate about now in my adulthood. Today we're going to talk about food and wine pairing with Girl Scout cookies. These are all very delicious, light-bodied wines from great classic producers with a few beers here in the mix. Well, with the shortbread cookies, you have sort of a dense cookie here. So we added the textural element of bubbles from the Moscato to sort of help break that up. It's sort of like eating candied lemon with a cookie as well. I like that. I like that a lot. It's one of my favorite pairings. So we have the s'mores here. When I think of s'mores, I think of like campfire, right? So we wanted to find a wine that has this smoky sort of elements, this vanilla note that it derives from oak. I mean, it's pretty dense and sweet as well. So we need a wine with a lot of sweetness and a lot of body as well. All you're left with is smoke. It's great. With something like the Tagalongs, which is so iconic, has that chocolate and peanut butter, flavor, I think of adding the verbet and having it create like this peanut butter and jelly sandwich effect. I just, I find it really fascinating. For me, this is a wine that I serve with almost every kind of dessert. It's slightly fizzy as you can see, very sweet and smells like candied strawberries. Always begs for another sip. I never actually at Senya pair a wine to mask flaws of a dish. This one actually I had to. Um, it's pretty much like eating cardboard. But with the addition of the cream sherry from La Stau, it sort of plays a trick on your mind thinking that you're eating like oatmeal raisin cookies. Yeah, that does not suck. Mmm, beer. All of my sommelier friends are gonna kill me, but beer is a much easier beverage to pair with food. Just. The fact that it has bubbles alone creates this wonderful textural effect, which we need, especially for the flakiness of the coconuts and the Samoas. The Great Lay really works with this cookie. Dominant flavors here are pineapple, which makes for like a pina colada type of pairing in your mouth. Oh, the Thin Mints is, it's everybody's favorite. Like you said, it's the OG. When I think of something that's been around for a very long time, it's very delicious, I think of Sam Smith. They use uh, cocoa beans instead of instead of regular baking chocolate, which sort of has this like lighter milk chocolate taste as opposed to more of the darker chocolate beers that you find. I could drink that all day.